Welcome to A Rin channel and welcome back to Surfacing Course. In this lecture, we are gonna show how to use guide curves in this web surface. So here we have some sketches. So we are gonna use this sketch, this one as a profile, this one as a path, and we are gonna use those two splines as a guide curves. So with the guide curves, we can create a different shapes of our surface. So we can change the dimensions of our profile at different cross sections. So we have here our profile. And here, if we use these, in these guide curves, we are gonna have a different cross section. So the dimensions of this profile will be changed. So let's show how this works. So let's go to surfaces tab. And here we have swap surface. So we are gonna use a sketch profile. And we are gonna choose a profile first. So we are gonna choose this profile. And we are gonna choose this part. Let's click OK. And this is what we show in the previous lecture. So we have here, as we see, the same sketch, a different cross section along this path. Now let's open here guide curves. And here we can choose our guide curves. We can choose one guide curves or more. So let's choose these guide curves. And obviously this doesn't work because we have to go here, right click, selection manager, and make sure we have on select open loop and now we can choose our guide curve and click OK. And now we see that our surface automatically changes the shape. Now we can also add this guide curve. So let's go here, right click, selection manager. Let's choose this guide curve and OK. And now we have something like this. Now we see that this profile at the beginning is not the same profile here. So here we have show sections. So we can increase this. And now we can see how our profile changes on different cross sections. So we see the profile has one dimension here. And has different dimensions here. Another thing if we look at our guide curves. And at our surface. We see that our surface goes to the end of the shortest guide curve. So here we have a path, and here is the endpoint of this path. And here we have the first guide curve, this is the longest guide curve, and here is the endpoint. But our profile goes to the end of the shortest guide curve, as we have here. So keep that in mind. Now let's click OK. So this is the simple way how we can use guide curves. Now we have a similar sketch here. Now let's try to create a surface here. So let's go to swap surface. Let's choose this profile and let's choose this path. Let's click OK. And now we have something like this. And now let's add our guide curves. So let's right click here, selection manager. We have open loop and let's select this one and click OK. As this is not possible. So but this is similar as before and here is not possible. So because if we go to this profile, to this sketch, we are gonna see that this sketch is fully defined. And if we have a fully defined sketch, then this sketch can change dimensions on different cross sections. So let's solve this. Let's cancel. Let's open this sketch. Now we see that we have here a radius of 30 millimeters. If we delete this radius 30 millimeters, and if we go back, if we go to swap surface, let's choose this profile. And let's choose this path. OK. Now let's open guide curves. Right click selection manager. Let's choose this one as a guide curve. And OK. Now it works. So remember, if we use guide curves, our profile can be fully defined because then our profile can change dimensions on different cross sections. Let's click OK. And let's go to surface sweep one. Right click and let's delete this. So now we're gonna try to use this profile, this path, and this spline here as a guiding curve. So let's go to swap surface. Let's choose this profile. Let's choose this path. Okay. Now let's go to guide curves. Here, right click, selection manager. 
and let's choose this one and okay and this doesn't work as well and this is because guide curves have to be connected to our profile so as we see here here we see that this guide curve and this guide curve are connected to this profile and we see that the path is not connected because path doesn't have to be but this guide curve has to be connected to this profile if we want to use it in the surface sweep so two main points from this lecture first, if we want to use guide curves our sketch cannot be fully defined it has to be free dimension because our sketch will change dimensions on different cross sections and the second point our guide curves have to be connected to our profile while path doesn't have to be connected thank you for watching please subscribe if you like i hope it can be a little helpful and useful